In this video, we'll see how to make very simple two ingredients chocolate buttercream frosting, which is very easy to make and tastes amazing. Let's get started. For this recipe, we need half cup butter. I'm using unsalted butter. You can also use homemade butter, also called as makhan. So makhan and butter are the same things, just that it's butter in English and makhan in Hindi. As you can see, this is not soft butter. It's not at room temperature. It's cold butter. And now I'm going to whip it till it becomes smooth using my electric beater. And you would notice that the butter would become nice, light and fluffy. So this would take two to three minutes. That's it. Now comes the second ingredient, which is chocolate syrup. So for this recipe, we need half cup chocolate syrup and make sure that you also keep this in your refrigerator, your regular fit section, not freezer. So total half cup, I'm going to add half of it at a time. So keep the remaining half aside. So total half cup chocolate syrup right out of your refrigerator. So cold butter and cold chocolate syrup is what we're going to need for this recipe. Start whipping and make sure you scrape the sides of the bowl and continue whipping. You would notice that the butter would become nice, light and fluffy. And at this time, it's time to, I mean, at this time, add the remaining chocolate syrup and start whipping again. You can use your hand whip or hand beater, but that would take a lot of time. Probably you would end up making your biceps, your muscles. <laughs> okay, so after some time, if you notice closely, it's still not done and you would see that uh, it has some grains. It's not smooth. So that doesn't mean it's spoiled. You need to again whip it. It would take a little more time. Not a lot of time. Trust me, this electric beater helps a lot. With the help of an electric beater, it becomes really fast. Now look at the change. You can see now it has become really nice and smooth. So I have scraped the sides and now again I'm whipping it. This would take around four to five minutes using an electric beater and you would notice that the frosting would become really nice and smooth. What you can do if you're not using it right away, you can pop this in an airtight container in your refrigerator and this would easily stay good up to two weeks. And if you see that there is a little separation of chocolate syrup, just in case that happens, you can again whip it with your electric beater for a few minutes and it would be ready to use. Very simple to make, it's very creamy and another important thing is it does not freeze like a regular butter once you refrigerate it, not hard. So here I've got 336 number piping nozzle and I'll just pipe some swirls using this frosting and show you. I hope you like this recipe and would like to give it a try. Very simple and delicious frosting. Soon I would be posting a recipe in which I would use this frosting. Stay tuned for more recipes and more December special recipes. See you in the next video. Till then, bye and enjoy.